Hey, I'm Zipplot Zero, and this is gonna be kind of another rant, topping video, commentary. So, as you can see by the background, this is Gunrunner on Hardpoint. I think I'm gonna be using the AUG, yes I am. And I just wanna talk about skill based matching. So, I guess you're wondering, like, why am I talking about skill based matching? Well, if you don't know, I'm a top 800 player, I think in COD in the world for kills, so I'm pretty good. I wouldn't say I'm the best, but I'm definitely up there with some of the better players. And I don't really play this game that much anymore. I played it a lot when it came out. I was actually top 100 in the world at one point. I think the highest I've ever been was 80, 80 second, but never got any higher than that. And unfortunately due to some problems with the PC version of COD, on my old graphics card, which was the AMD RX 590. I don't know, they were supposed to do some type of improvement and it caused me to not be able to play Call of Duty for about a month. So, you know, steadily I lost my rank in top kills in the world and I made it back up to top 1000. I don't think I'll ever go up to top 100 again because yeah, skill-based matchmaking is completely fair. And it's completely needed in the game. Honestly, I really think skill-based matchmaking is needed. Because it gives a chance for shittier players to never improve at the game. And for them to stay bad at the game and never improve because there's no need to. You try to improve in COD and get better, the game just punishes you. Like, really. I rarely play Call of Duty anymore. And the main reason why is because of skill-based matchmaking. Now, you'll see at several points in this game, I'm not doing terribly good, but I'm not doing terribly bad. I'm doing about average. I think I ended this game at, like, 50 kills and 30 deaths, maybe. And it's not because I'm a bad player fighting good players. It's because I'm a good player fighting mediocre players. There's just more mediocre players than I actually have good players on the team. So if you notice a lot in the kill feed, there's maybe only two or three guys getting kills at most. And as you'll see later on in this gameplay, yeah, yeah, the kills start to get few and far between where I'm the only one on my team consistently getting a kill or even attempting to get streaks. Or in this case, my specialist package. So for those of you who don't know or who think skill-based matchmaking is not a real thing you're fucking an idiot you are part of the reason why god is a problem skill-based matchmaking is definitely a real thing and i've felt that a lot in this call of duty and in previous titles from black ops 4 and i felt it way worse in cold war now on top of cold war just being a shit game and them releasing it in such a terrible state where it was unbalanced and at certain points unplayable with shitty graphics and not optimized correctly. Yeah. Yeah, this game is just, uh, it's great. So, as you can see by the gameplay through the scoreboard, you know, I'm doing decent. I'm doing better than most of my teammates. But skill-based matchmaking just makes this game unplayable. It, it really does. This is probably my second game on just to get recording for COD because I just, you know, want to record COD and don't really play it anymore. And every time I get on it, this is literally what I met with. I met with, you know, four or five mediocre players on the other team, maybe six, you know, six, who can do decent. You know, they're not doing great, but they're not doing bad. You know, they're average. And then I'm stuck with bots and then maybe one other good player who usually ends up leaving before the game even over because he knows that there's no reason in staying and that's just how cod is now if you are above average player you are punished for playing the game and trying to play it well the game just decides like hey you're too good you need to lose or hey you're too good we're gonna stack you with players who can't even get kills who can't hold objectives who don't know what they're doing because the game assumes that you being a good player, that you can carry four or five people, when in reality, that's not what happens. As you can see right now, like we're doing okay. I have 
like a few teammates who are trying to hold point. I'm trying to do my best to get kills, but eventually the one or two good players on my team who are trying to actually play decently are just going to leave. And then my team won't get backfilled, and there's nothing I can do about it. Yeah, this game is just... Honestly, I, I knew since the start of Black Ops 4, once I realized that there was any type of skill-based matchmaking in Black Ops 4, I, I knew that this COD franchise would start to dumb down. And to be honest, seeing how Cold War is and Modern Warfare is, it's just I, I can't play this anymore. I can't. I'm having more fun playing games like Battlefield and, and Overwatch. Like, like uh, the fact that I'm having fun playing Overwatch is testament to how far I've come as a COD player because honestly I, I, I don't want to play Overwatch because Overwatch I don't think is a very good game but I'm having more fun playing with my friend in, in ranked of all things than I am playing casual COD right. skill based matchmaking just needs to go in the next iteration me getting thrown into EU servers and sometimes Russian servers or Middle Eastern servers because the game can't find me a competent match to put me in in you know two or three in the afternoon in America Central America at that it, it's just not fun it's either you're too good and you get put onto a game where you have to carry a full five man or you're just gonna get demolished by four or five sweats on the other team who are all using mp5 stopping power overkill with shotguns this game has such a low little skill gap that anyone can do good and the majority of the player base that say oh well skill based matchmaking is not real it's just people wanting to pub stop like it's a real thing it's just you're probably not good enough to see it like in all reality if you are not good enough to see that there is skill based matchmaking in the game then I'm sorry, then you're the reason skill-based matchmaking is even a thing, is to protect shitty players like you. And I know this video is very ranty, and honestly, probably most people who watch this video have already clicked off, and if you're still watching for this far, well then I'm sorry. But I want you to pay, like, pay attention every time I bring up the scoreboard, because I start bringing it up after like almost every death now. I, I can't do anything with this game. I can't. None of these players are good enough for me to... You know, like, they're good enough to where I can't streak them, but then they're also not good to where I can repeatedly kill some of them, no problem. It, it's it's just frustrating and heartbreaking knowing that I can't have fun playing this Call of Duty. I have more fun playing the mods of Call of Duty of IW4X or Black Ops 2 Plutonium or, you know, hopefully soon, uh... That new one that's coming out, I think it's called like two squares or something like that, or square times two. I'm more excited for those than I am the next iteration. So, if anyone in Activision even sees this, I, I want you to. Like, this is what my wish is. God. Remove skill based matchmaking. Or tone it down to at least the level of Black Ops 4. At least in Black Ops 4, even though there was skill based matchmaking you were able to still be impacted as a player to where you could still get one or two decent players and yeah the game might be a little bit harder for you to win if it's only three good players going up against you know five but at least there was a chance in this i don't feel like there's ever a chance i want hit registration to be good there are times in this game where i feel like i'm right on target and i'm just not hitting people or there are times where I'm getting hit behind walls and corners, and I know it's not just my internet. I know it's just how the game is, because I've done it, where I've shot someone, they ran behind the wall, started reloading, and then they die in the middle of my reload. That's not lag-based, that's just shitty hit detector and shitty server kick. You know, dying by one bullet because of these terrible servers and stuff like that, it's just not fun. Not fun as a cop player. So I think this game's almost over. Yeah, it is. I think I'm going to end it here. Uh, once again, this is just another rant commentary video. Just kind of getting my frustrations out with COD. Thank you for watching if you enjoyed. 
I'm gonna quit the commentary here, but I'm gonna let the gameplay keep going. And I just want you at the very end just to look at the scoreboard. Because not a single teammate on my team got over 10 kills. And the ones who did left. And I don't even think they got over like 50 when they left. But thank you for watching. Catch you next time when I do more funny videos or more uh, commentary videos or something. Definitely going to be releasing more content than just COD now because definitely my passion for COD is starting to die out. But thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time. Hope you enjoy the rest of the gameplay.